What's up, Virgo? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I am the creator of this awesome community. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share if you're feeling my vibe. All right, y'all. So, y'all know how this works, right? So, flip the roles as you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't. I'm just reading energy, okay? I'm just a messenger. Don't come for me, okay? Whatever's being said is because my spirit guys feel like you need to hear it, all right? Now, normally, right, if um I speak of a situation that may have already happened for you, just remember that there's something there that you still are missing, right? So it may be something that you still need to learn or something that you still need to face within that situation. Usually, if that energy comes out and it's old news, you miss the lesson, okay? So definitely try to stay tuned in, try to stay in a positive mindset as you are viewing the video. Make sure you're using the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Everything in it may not be for you. Why? Because we're all on different timelines, okay? So I'm picking up on past, present, future energies. If it doesn't feel like it's your energy, it's not you. It may be somebody else in your life or it may not be your goddamn story. Okay? So, um... Y'all, I like to set my intentions because we got to be on the same page energetically. If you do want a personal reading, um, click the detail box below. It has my uh, website link in there. Okay, my Instagram link is also there. So you can go to my Instagram page, click um, the link in my bio that will take you directly to my web page. All right, y'all. So um, I'm going to set my intentions before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading. I ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. I ask that all lines of communication is closed to any karmic energies, any negative energies. Thank you so much for using us as the messenger, using me <laughs> as the messenger. And speaking through me loud and clearly for Virgo tonight. And so it is. All right, y'all. So here we go. Here we go. This here. I need space. It's like I, I call myself shifting locations. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Still not enough space, y'all. Put that over there. Put that there. All right, here we go. Thank you, my spirit guys. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. What is that energy update? Walking away in the third chakra in the upright position. Thank you. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Explain. And indecision in the reverse position. All right, so. Whew. I don't know which way that fell, so I ain't going to take it. Let me do one more card, y'all, then I'm ready for you. Show me what I need to see. Strategy, temple path. All right, got it. All right, so I'm using my energy oracle deck, okay? So with this walking away card, is here. It's in the reverse position, all right? So when this card is in the reverse position, um, it's about letting go, right? And that's what I'm trying, I need to see here because next to my walking away card, you got the third chakra card and that third chakra card is in an upright position. So, you know, somebody is definitely tapping in and, and um, vibing really high. So what I'm, what I'm feeling here when it comes to this is that someone was feeling stuck. Okay. So whether this is you Virgo or whether this is someone in your life. Okay. So someone is definitely feeling stuck in some type of present situation or it could be a location okay now it's habit for the most part and it's fear that allows you know you to stay stuck right for you not to make a healthier choice to walk away from something here um and that's what the energy seems to be like dwelling on right now that needs to really pick up and move forward from the things that no longer serve you right because what it's doing is it's, it's like and it's so crazy because I'm, I'm trying not to cuss so much but i'm like it's fucking with your vibe right <laughs> It's fucking with your vibe, okay? So the third chakra is literally your life force energy, all right? So it's like this This evolves around your emotions, okay? Your personal energy, your vibration, honey. And when you vibe and roll, what? You ain't manifesting shit. You stuck, okay? Now, this is a great time to definitely move forward here. And I feel like a decision has been made for the most part with this indecisive indecision card in the reverse, Okay, so 
somebody definitely has let go i feel like someone is tired here of holding on to that energy right someone's tired of vibing law someone's tired of um having a lack of purpose here and now this is why the decision is being made here okay to go for it right with the temple path card here in the upright position so of course we know y'all the temple path card talks about a karmic path and with I'm, I'm tripping right because usually when that temple path comes out it talks about your spiritual purpose it talks about support and um that's usually a twin flame card for me, right? Within this deck, it's like, oh, okay, you may be dealing with some type of higher level soulmate here that you have some type of spiritual purpose with, okay? Now, but it doesn't have to be y'all, okay? Because this is a general reading, so it is definitely very broad. You know, personal readings will literally get into your particular situation. But with this Temple Path card in the upright position, so someone now is, is making this choice here, um... And realizing how important it is to grow right you know how your own personal growth is like it's, it's 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 a must you must learn the lessons you must grow you must expand you can't keep staying the same you can't keep being stuck you can't keep having the same mindsets about things right and whoever energy i'm pulling in right now is realizing that it is it was that mindset that was keeping them stuck right or keeping them vibrationally low okay so this is a good thing, but with the strategy card here in a reverse position, it's like, okay, I know I want to take this path, but how the fuck am I going to do it? <laughs> okay, so how am I going to go about doing this? No strategy whatsoever. Um, no plan in mind. It's just like, look, I'm ready to jump on it. I'm ready to do this. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so it may be some type of stall in progress, but the reason is is because it's a lack of planning right it's like someone has a goal in mind but no specific ideas of how to achieve it and and that that's normal right because when something is new to you you don't really have a comprehensive plan to attack it <laughs> you don't know how to go about doing it like this I, i'm really feeling here like you know you may have never been on this path before and it's all new so it's like okay hmm I can actually control my destiny here how <laughs> okay i know i got some skills here but yeah my whole life has been kind of centered around some type of confusion right and i've been having to put a whole lot of mental effort in the shit but now hmm i don't really have to do that all i can do now is just be that's it all i need to do is just be right and just flow and let go of the things that don't serve me anymore and then the universe is just like flowing with me right all right so we're gonna see what this is about i'm going to um definitely tap in with my light seers oracle deck to see exactly whose energy this is that i'm picking up on here in your story all right so remember if you are a cross watcher take it as if i'm speaking directly to you thank you and of course virgo if it's not your energy it's somebody's um energy that's in your life thank you show me what i need to see about this spread here show me what i need to see from virgo so masculine energy coming out king of pentacles in the reverse so with that energy right remember a past present future right so with that energy here someone was definitely operating in um their codependency so could have been being greedy or just materialistic, right? Doing things for their own personal gain for the most part. And instead of just, you know, um, offering something serious, when it comes to your situation here, they weren't doing that. But this uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse now wants to work in harmony here with this purpose, right? Which this purpose to me seems like this may include you, Virgo, of course, right? But now they're ready to work in harmony with you and they want to end the conflict all right so let's see what this is about thank you spirit tell me what this five of wands is referencing in reverse tell me what i need to see thank you yep they're ready to work with you with the ten of cups all right so look let me tell you this person is like oh shit <laughs> that's my ten of cups okay that's 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 my boo. This is masculine energy, y'all. I'm picking up on. Okay, it's like, okay, that's my wish fulfillment right there. So now they're ready to work in harmony with you with that. Where before you guys definitely um had a lot of conflict about that 
in particular about them and their commitment to y'all connection right and it puts you in an um, energy where y'all had to separate all right and it caused a lot of conflict um disputes and things of that nature but now uh, your person here, this masculine energy here is definitely starting to see the bigger picture is what I'm saying, okay? And they're, they're looking here and it's like, okay, now I'm looking for emotional stability. Uh, Virgo offers me that. All right, with the high priestess in the upright position, um, that's feminine energy as well. And that could be you that represents divine feminine energy too as well. All right, very highly intuitive. Um, very patient, right? And you listen to your intuition. Your, your person here is mirroring that energy is what I'm hearing. Okay, they're starting to trust their own intuition here within you guys' situation. All right, so they tap, they tap it into that high priestess or high priest energy, right? Um, for the most part here, thank you. They were so repressed in their intuition before. They didn't know how to do that. That's why I said this is something here that's new to them. They never, they never actually took, you know, all of this for faith face value they didn't know how to come up out of this low vibrational energy at one point here now with the lovers in the reverse position that's um them being repressing that energy just really put wow that's what where the, uh, the disharmony came from or the imbalance came from within you guys connection okay and on top of the bad choices that they made for the most part right now with this masculine energy here virgo um, for the most part, it's like that selfishness is there, right? That manipulation is there. Doing things for their own personal gain is there, right? Um, the illusions, the deception, whatever that may be about with this magician in the, in the reverse. Yeah, um, your person here just did not have the willpower to manifest or even to create this situation for themselves. And um, what I'm hearing is that it could have been because of something that was deceiving them, Okay. Hmm. It was some type of deceit that could have been doing it that was keeping them in that low vibration, right? Low in their confidence. So let's see what that's about. Tell me what this uh, magician card in the reverse is about here, Spirit. Let me do this again. Tell me about this magician in the reverse. Thank you. Still came out. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so of course this last thing was given up for the most part. They were given up. Because things weren't working in their favor, it feels like. You know, they didn't know how to stand up for you, for themselves. They didn't know how to stand in their own power. So they pretty much have given up on themselves at some point, right? And this is why it's just like when you when you in that energy, you don't care. You're going to lie. You're going to cheat. You're going to steal. You're going to do whatever, right? It's going to be deceit because you don't have the confidence enough. You don't believe that you're worthy or deserve abundance here. But now your person here, this masculine energy coming through is definitely like shit. Daydreaming, thinking, having ideas coming to them from the from spirit, right? It's like, oh, shit. And it's helping them gain this new perspective here. Um overall on everything it's not even just about you virgo it's, an, it's about their entire life here is what i'm pulling in okay so they're getting these ideas that's coming from their intuition and it's giving them this fresh perspective here especially about the relationship they had with you virgo they're they they uh, they appreciate you and on top of that with the three of wands they are now looking ahead they're now ready to expand they're now ready to get on this temple path Okay, so they're ready to go towards their spiritual purpose because they're seeing how them changing their mindset has changed their life, literally. Wow. They were the reasons for uh, the limitations and restrictions is what Spirit is saying. It ain't had nothing to do with no other situation, no common person, no nothing. It was them that was keeping them stuck. The restrictions came from them because they lacked the confidence. To literally expand or even to offer you to love. Okay, look at that. Wow. Ace of Cups, the Hangman, and the Nine of Wands. Now, Virgo, your person is ready to offer you that. They're ready to offer the love. They have been emotionally awakened to this connection and they're ready to let go of whatever the baggage is that they have and they want to start living. They want a new beginning. Okay, they want a fresh start with you. Now, uh, it's up to you, right? Because we all have free will here. For the most part, and if you still tuned in, apparently you want your boo. Okay, now look, they were stalling, and like I said, it seems like it's a it's a, a lack of process, um, progress right now. But the only reason why is because they're not sure, they're uncertain about how to do this. This is all new to them, is what I'm hearing. It's all new to them. Okay, they never really done things without doing it in deceit. 
So now they're doing it and they're operating in the light. Usually they're manipulating, right? And doing things for their own personal gain. Now they're starting to think about you entirely, right? Within this connection. They're starting to think about their future, okay? And then, um, wow. With the nine of wands here. And they're, they're prepared to be persistent about this. It's like, you may be like, nah, pfft, deuces. Okay, I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> I'll text you tomorrow. Let's see what's up. You know, they're prepared to be persistent about this here. All right, so regardless, it's like if it's adversity around, if you give them adversity, they want to win this battle. Now they're seeing that it requires some work, right? And you may, you may put up a fight okay you may make them work for this right but that's good because you stand in your integrity and you speak your truth and you say what the fuck you want if this is something that you want you not you the divine doesn't want you to settle for less because you deserve it all okay now they know that but they still want to be able to do it they still want to work on their own self-improvement here and they realize you know it's some sacrifices that they're gonna have to make in order for y'all to to come together in order for y'all to be able to share the same goals okay thank you show me what i need to see too many cards let me see if i can break it down show me what i need to see Justice, Eight of Wands, Tower. I seen that earlier. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Okay, so with the Justice card, pretty much, right? Things are going to, a decision going to be made, all right? Again, your person really already made a decision. The Indecisive card came out in um, the reverse. It was one of these things where they made this decision, but they probably haven't really been sharing it with nobody. It's like, I already know what I'm going to do, right? But right now, let me just figure out how to strategize this, right? Because again, your person doesn't know really. They It feels like your person does plan. And for the most part, they like, I don't really know how to go about doing this, but I know I'm ready to take this journey, right? Now, the scales is balancing, right? <laughs> wow. This is instance where you got to look at and face yourself, right? So y'all been facing the, the fuck out the mirror. Let me tell you, Virgo, you've been facing the mirror. This person been facing the mirror. Um, and you know, Virgo, shit, we, we good for introspecting. We're going we gonna to face the mirror. We're going to evaluate ourselves and see like, oh shit, what I do, what I need to do, how I need to approve, da da da, right? Because we always are looking to um, achieve and to grow in some kind of way. Um, but with this decision, of course, the communication is going to come forward and... Um, it's coming fast. I'm seeing sudden. It's so sudden, right? The changes that it's going to bring is going to almost be shocking. Okay. Mm. Now, the one, the card that I am questioning here is the Seven of Pentacles and the Reverse. Next to this Tower card. So let me ask questions about that. But with this masculine energy coming in, they're going to come in and they're going to be very straightforward about this. They want to get some things done. So who is this communication coming towards here, Spirit? What is this justice about? This storm about? Why is this seven of pentacles in reverse? Speak. <laughs> what is this about here? Thank you. Tell me about this seven of pentacles in reverse here. So, this decision, thank you, Spirit. Woo! <laughs> when it hit, it hit like a bolt. Like, woo! This decision that's going to be made is going to bring about a loss or a hardship. Okay? Because the decision, literally, that has been made was for your person here to go through this transformation. They decided, I'm going to go through this transformation here. Now, they're going to end up neglecting something to do it. And that's what is going to end up bringing about this tower. It may create some type of um, hardship or some type of loss. And that's why they have been delaying it for so long. Because they already know. It's like, as soon as I do this, yep, it's going, it's going to lead to some type of chaos. All right, so tell me more about this tower here, Spirit. 
this your person needs to needs to have a plan. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they're getting ready to release. Um, they're getting ready to face their fear. Woo, they're getting ready to face their fear. Cause they ready to reconcile with you. Okay, they ready to get back together with you. So they they get ready to face their fear. What's that fear, spirit? What they get ready to face here? Show me what I need to see. What they getting ready to face here? Thank you. Oh, baby mama. <laughs> baby mama. Empress in the reverse. Don't have to be a baby mama. It could just literally be a feminine, a person who act feminine, feminine energy. They may act like a mama, maybe a mama to somebody else's kids. But this person is someone um, that could be very insecure or overbearing. Okay. Show me about this Empress in Reverse. It could be someone they do have children by. It could be. I just heard someone a little older, over 35. So this Empress, this other person here, sees this masculine or your person Virgo as their wish fulfillment. Okay, so this is something that's in their nine of cups. All right, having a relationship with this person or being having this family with this person. Okay, so they may be pregnant, so they may already have your person may have already made some type of agreement to work with this empress in reverse, right? Um, so with the seven of swords energy here, yeah, that's what it was. It's, it's getting ready to be a plan that's going to fail, literally, because they did they set um some type of a uh, plan or something with this person. Okay, so they made a decision to work with this person here and it's getting ready to be a failed plan. All right, so whatever they did, they, he might, your person might have was like, yeah, we, we, we got this. We're going to work together. We're going to do this or we're going to be together, you know, whatever. I don't know, right? But whatever they did, they did it deceptively. They were lying. They did it to sneak away, right? So it was like, all right, let me, let me say this here because it, it probably meant something at first. Because through several readings previously before, your person chose wrong. So it might have meant something at first, but now it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I made the wrong decision. This getting ready to blow up. All right. And um, this empress in reverse had plans for us. We had a goal that we set. And instead of your person coming out and speaking the truth, they were scared to speak the truth to this person here um, or are scared to speak the truth to this person. Honestly, they were they literally is like, OK, I got to spare this person's feelings. OK, and this is what it, what's been happening. They haven't really been coming off telling the truth or speaking the whole truth. Right. Wow. Ten of Wands in the reverse. And now they got to tell them it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do this as a team. <laughs> And it's going to create heartbreak. It's going to create heartbreak. And it may also create some type of burden for your person. But I feel like they're prepared. They just still don't have a strategy. Yeah, they're going to take that offer back. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> Virgo, let me tell y'all. One life to live around this mug. <laughs> y'all stories be like look i'll be like y'all stories be like mm, my story too right <laughs> you like girl you a very girl too yeah my story too funny all right so mm. let me tell you the other person always wants to talk in these read and y'all reading virgo they be like uh-uh <laughs> i ain't fitting to be over here talking about me Tell me what I need to see for this spread spirit. These cards are big and goofy. Come on. So I have stars, sword and wings okay so 
let me look those cards up. And with the stars, it's like you can manifest whatever you want. And your person is starting to realize they can do the same thing. But they have to align with what it is that they desire to do it. And they're seeing it. I really feel like your person may be manifesting some stuff right now. Career-wise, financially, they're doing some stuff right now. And, and stuff is, is working in their favor. But it's all about, it's happening because of the choices that they're making. So they're deciding to, to align, right? And they're deciding to make these decisions to let go of what no longer serves them. Especially old mindsets. So now the universe is like, bam. Okay, we working with you now. Okay, so literally whatever goal it is that you have, um, you can turn it into reality. And like I said, I really definitely feel like this is some type of mirroring energy that's taking place between you two. Okay, so uh, just a little note, you know, keep a daily manifestation journal, um, whether it's large or small, right? And just write down in there what it is that you want. What is it that you want to create for yourself? Even create a dream board here. I'm working on a vision board now, so I decided because you guys know I'm an artist too as well. I can't pull it out, but I'm putting it on canvas instead. And I'm going to see how I can put my collage of everything that I want on there to do an updated vision board. But um, the universe is literally waiting. And wow. Is literally is literally waiting and saying that this is what you deserve okay but the reason why you had to go through all of this is so that your person can come in right and be awakened all right so that because you look let me tell you the divine knows all things so even though you may even say now like i don't want this that that you you got free will overall but in order for you guys to come together and that's what it seems like is happening it's like the universe is aligning it for you guys to come back in together and in order for that to be you can't come back in with the same bullshit right this is why the relationship wasn't working so apparently this person here may be um a very uh important aspect to your life purpose right with that temple card that came out okay so but just keep in mind right that you also need to believe that you deserve it and this is where your person needs help with they need to believe that they deserve it and that they can have these good and wonderful things for themselves it, their past has had them so stuck in their mind thinking that they cannot manifest anything right because they haven't they've been very unfruitful but they've been unfruitful because of the decisions and choices that they they've made and now they're making this choice to make the change they're they're re um and even you virgo you may even be um changing yourself as far as like how you look on the outer you might be cutting your hair right you may be thinking of um just doing something here to just recreate yourself your person is doing the same thing right from it's happening you guys inside out right and then with the wings it's like you never needed those wings to fly and your person is realizing that it's like oh shit i never needed those wings to fly it was that's all codependent energy you had already started to recognize here that um you you don't have to be stuck in the cycle you wanted to close the cycle out and you did when you was like you know what fudge this i don't want this no more i'm ending it right but your person didn't know how to do that because they realized they didn't know how powerful they were they didn't know that they already had the power to do that and that's what was keeping them stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and sit and um self-criticism and now they're starting to realize like i can do whatever i set my mind to it's a mind thing it was my negative self-talk that was keeping me stuck that's where the toxicity was coming from it was me your person literally is starting to see this and now that they're understanding that okay so now they have to understand that they also have the, <laughs> the power to really go about doing this it's just like okay now how do i strategize this that's why i was like your person likes to strategize and they like the plan and things like that i think they overanalyze by doing it instead of just flowing right and uh, stop second guessing and just going with what it is that they're feeling with their heart desires bam but of course we all are a work in progress <laughs> okay don't come overnight it takes time now um oh yeah that's what i was like where is those cards i want my love uh awful cards y'all hold on one second see if i can reach it i think i left it in my bag so sometimes I'll be carrying stuff with me so I can read while I'm out, but it don't never work, y'all. I'll be like, I'm going to read while I'm out sitting in the car waiting for waiting for my son as I'm his personal chauffeur. All right. 
show me what I need to see. Thank you. Dag with that damn snake. Snake keep coming out all the time. <laughs> I think my um <clears throat> my phone came on, y'all. I laugh. Let me tell you. The snake is heartbroken. <laughs> Boop. So of course the snake is the other woman. The snake is going to be heartbroken and deeply hurt by this. I mean, shit, we don't want nobody to have to feel any type of pain, right? We don't wish pain on anybody. It's a, it's a fucked up feeling. But when you're in a low vibration, you don't understand, right, when, when to walk away and when to let go of things that no longer serve you, okay? So, but, yeah, they're going to be feeling this loss. And what I'm hearing is that the karmic will, oh, shit. Woo! They definitely gonna be heartbroken. Your person here, they wanna go all the way with you. I got wedding ring. Some of your um, some of y'all people probably were married to this person too. But some of y'all, they want to. They're gonna be heartbroken when they see it's you that they get into union with or that they marry. It's like they don't want you to be with them, period. That's what they've been fighting against. That's why there's been so much competition. It wasn't about nobody else. It was about you. Wow. Whoever this uh, karmic person is, your person is going to literally meet up with them and have a conversation about this. And they're going to tell, they probably tell them before you, e they even tell you what's happening here. Thank you. I need to pull something here. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. This other person is self-absorbed is what I just seen. Let, let me tell you, they're going to tell them. That they're trying to marry you or they want to get engaged with you or commit to you. And that shit is going to break their heart. They did not want, they've been fighting to keep them away from you. Tell me about the snake card here, Spirit. Your person coming in as the emperor. So they're coming in trying to be disciplined and structured about this. But um, this yeah, this other woman has been wearing a blindfold purposely. And what they've been doing is they, they've been wearing it, right? Because they've been wanting to see them here as someone. Um, they want, they seen, oh shit, they thought. So they seen your person here as their person. Okay, as their masculine, as their twin flame or divine masculine however they state they thought that this was your um their person okay and this is why they put up that fight because it's like that's my person regardless right now they were um putting on a, the blindfold period so wow temperance card in the reverse position this is crazy y'all it'd be coming out and it'd be like oh shit they had used poor judgment this is why they're going to be heartbroken because they're going to feel bad because they use poor judgment. It's like, damn, I thought this was my person. Like they made some type of investment into this person here. And because of um, your person here did not, they did not communicate with them honestly. Okay. In the way that they're going to go about doing this, that's what's going to cause the heartbreak is what I'm hearing. Yep. They, they, they're going to come in too fast. It's like they're not going to have a clear idea or plan on how to do it because they're so eager to move on, right? They're going to rush in. And when they do it, of course, it's like, all right, it's going to create a lot of disappointment and this person may even feel abandoned. Okay, so the per basically your person is like, you know, they're going to come in like, oh, shit, I'm out, right? I'm going to start going after whatever my higher purpose is. You know, I got, I can't be stuck here in this situation. Um, they've been trying to play the peacemaker for way too long. And it's like, mm -mm, I don't want to restore the balance in this situation. I need to go, right? I need to get out of here. I'm, I'm rescinding my offer, <laughs> okay? Whatever it is that they said that they were going to do here. Um, and they're going to, it's just like the way that they may do it, it just may be too abrupt. I, and uh, what I also of her it's like they may be acting in arrogance okay that lower vibe okay and um wow show me what that is yeah 
Yeah. It's a lot going on here. Because this other person here were literally looking at your person as their new beginning. Let's just put it that way. But they were doing things in deceptive energy too, as well as what I heard. Because you know you can't do, you can't operate in deceit and think that you're going to get a blessing. Is what Spirit is saying. Okay, so this is how karma is going to come back and get them. They were operating in deceit and they thought that they were going to be able to gain this family or whatever out of this situation. And yeah, they didn't take enough time to uh, turn that energy within and get the correct answers. They were trying to create something stable here within this situation, but they didn't. They they were overindulging or whatever it was that they were doing here. They were refusing to see the truth. They knew all along is what I'm hearing. So they knew all along, but they didn't want to see the truth because they wanted the, they wanted this connection. Okay, they wanted to manifest this. This was something here that was an idea. It was a personal goal for this um, other person. And because your person always comes in so fast and so direct and very assertive here, it seems like okay that could it it, it could have been it. That this could be my person. They keep coming in. Like they call. They text. They, you know, they assert themselves in my life here. Right? But it seems like your person is just that type of person. that just comes in quickly. Doesn't really think about the consequences. But as you can see, it's like they're making this transition. They're releasing that. And that's going to break their heart. Because they may have seen themselves with your person as a family maybe raising kids together if they're step kids you know if your person has kids or or that person has kids and they don't have the kids together you know bringing the families together they seen this person as the world that was their milestone and now they're here as the lovers in reverse they thought that this was their person but you are their lover and the Empress. Wow, some of you. <clears throat> That's deep, Virgo. Let me see. I'm going to grab one more message for y'all. Then, then I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. I got a karmic that be checking in. She be mad, mad, y'all. <laughs> she always leaves like that one little... One little message and i'll be like are you serious like can you use the spirit of discernment here if there's something that you ain't doing or you don't feel this ain't about you then boop <laughs> i don't know why it's just always got to be somebody that trolls right somebody to try to be the thorn and not realizing that they're allowing the enemy to use them to take someone off course i mean shit right look the fuck Ooh, sorry y'all 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 just don't know i came a long way okay <laughs> i came a long way okay hood all day but i came a long way so i operate in both energy sometimes y'all but look check this out <laughs> i want to marry you came out that shit is going to take this karmic person back whoever it is that shit is going to take them back let me tell you and it's going to break their heart your person needs to feel you inside of them okay so some of them is definitely missing you in a sexual kind of way all right it says here for some of y'all it's it's this karmic is making him block you or however flip it okay so maybe say like period yeah it's making him block him I, I feel like and what's coming to me i feel like if they link up or they or they're together some kind of way maybe she may get in his phone or their phone and they put you know how you put somebody on a, uh that moon do not disturb shit that or block you in the phone or even sometimes when the night ends um they do something and they block or i i it's just so many things that's coming to me here with that blocking it's just like not one of those things where it's like you better not talk to her 
you better not call her. It's like almost one of those things where it's like he feel like he may even have to put the phone on silent or put, you know, on a do not, put you on a do not disturb because this common person may go through their phone, okay, when their back is turned. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, your person made the decision, and that's what the decision is. And they're getting ready to vocalize that decision. I want to marry my Virgo. Decision made. I'm going after my Queen of Swords. Two of Swords, two of Swords in the reverse, and a Queen of Swords in the upright. The truth is about to be revealed, and they're getting ready to speak it. They don't give a fuck about the consequences, okay? Because they already know you stood your ground with them. And you put them in their place. You were very direct in your communication with them. And that's what they needed. That's the push they needed to wake them to wake them up. That made them realize how much they really love you. They were wearing a blindfold about that before. Hmm. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Let me tell you. Until we meet again, honey. Part two. Part two. <laughs> I ain't going to do a part two now. Because y'all got... I'm telling y'all story be lit lit every single day. Look, our story <laughs> be lit lit every single day because there's bits and pieces of me in there too. Um, y'all, woo, this is deep, y'all. So remember, you got um, to use the spirit of discernment. We do all have free will, so you don't got to do a damn thing, okay? These are just intuitive messages, all right? Spirit is like, you can do it or you not. Either way, you're going to learn something from whatever decision you make okay now um don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the share button and all that other good stuff also don't forget that my website is in the detail box below all right y'all i figured out the membership package thing i had to turn it on duh and i still don't think it's working i keep trying to find it but i'm gonna go back and check it out again and i promise y'all i'm gonna start going live i, I just gotta get still i be like everywhere but i'm gonna start going live um i want to give a special shout out to um to one of my my viewers you got you are just awesome because you like to send me nice little uh messages and they are very uplifting and then um i think today i got uh what was it it was meditation music and i love meditation music so i go to sleep to it and um so i definitely need that that's encouraging so thank you so much all i remember is jerry is your first name okay i don't remember your youtube handle but special shout out to you thank Thank you uh, again for your support, y'all. All of y'all. Y'all been so supportive and so uplifting to me and helping me through my journey just as much as I'm helping you guys. So we are in this together. You know how I'd be. Like, we in it, the win it, honey. All right. So I'm not leaving you behind. Y'all my soul tribe. All right. So I love y'all. Peace.